Hello and welcome back to the Old Realms. If you'd like to check out the two previous series where we focus on a vampire as well as a damsel of the lady, then you can do that through the links in the description. There's also a bunch of other playlists down there as well. Anyway, we're going to be playing as an Empire of Man member, person, friend, yes. And I'm going to be customizing my character a little bit this time. All right, so there he is. We actually customized our character for once. Can you believe it? Yeah, I certainly can't. Anyway, we're going to be starting off probably playing as the Imperial Sergeant, Engineering Student, and then the Free Company Militia Man. Because here's the thing, I was kind of deciding between two of them. Obviously, here's the thing, if you want to be, you know, like faith-based and so on and so forth, then you probably want to go for Priest Acolyte or... Actually, I don't think there are any Witch Hunter careers or career options at the moment. So if you want to go for a Warrior Priest, then the Priest Acolyte is the way to go. Otherwise, I'm personally just going to be going for this because I think this is going to be really, really cool. We're going to go for Bannerlord, realistic across the board here, even though I'm probably going to die instantly from various projectiles. But, you know, that's just how it is. Auto allocate clan member perks because otherwise there's just too much busy work for me personally. And otherwise, we're just going to be going for something random here. There we go. And uh, should I go for brown? Brown looks so terrible, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess I'll just go for a kind of like a muted white or something like that. And we're going to be calling ourselves um, Bundle. Bundle. Bundle of uh, Woodchuck. There you go. Absolutely perfect. Wonderful. Isn't that, isn't that a perfect name? That is absolutely a perfect name. And now in this series, I'm actually not entirely sure if we're going to be creating our own faction. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. It's very much a case of, well, who knows? You know, sometimes I, sometimes I just do some stuff that I never planned to do in the first place. And well, maybe that's going to happen this time around. I don't know. So we're just going to run around here, try to recruit as many people as we can get our hands on. I think the town has already been stripped of all its strips. Yes, it has. Of course it has. And we do have one focus point to spend already. So I'm going to be spending that in probably gunpowder. I mean, what else, right? What else? So yeah, we're just going to be doing that. And there's also a career point that we can spend. So this is a mercenary. I think actually someone told me about this and um, I thought, hey, you know what? That sounds pretty fun. So why not? Thank you to that person, by the way, for letting me know about a little bit more of the details in regards to the mercenary. So here's the thing. What does the mercenary actually do? Well, you can see here that they have a lot of bonuses. They get a lot of bonuses from a variety of different things. And this is obviously really quite dramatically different from the spellcasters that we had before because the spellcasters were where we were you know consistently lobbing you know spellcraft enhanced abilities at the opponent well that's what your career options and indeed skills are going to be about however the mercenary doesn't have any magic or can get magic in the end but obviously we are mostly going to be focusing on guns and engineering so that's what we're going to be doing here. But that's the reason why this is such a significant change, because you're then going to have the ability to choose some extremely difficult or very, shall we say, different things. Maybe some difficult decisions to make in the future as well. Because at the moment, as you can see, five extra ammo or 20 hit points, that's actually a difficult decision for me to make. I don't think I have a gun. No, I do not. Do I have any gunpowder skill? Yes, I do. So wait a second. Let me actually just see. Do I even have do I even have the ability to buy something here? 8000 no oh no oh that's terrible okay it's going to be 8000 for me to purchase a gun maybe I'm going to be able to find something but I'm going to increase my hit points by 20 cuz that's literally the only thing I can really do I also have some two-handed skill amusingly enough so it seems like I may want to get a two-handed weapon. Should I just go go ahead and get a two-handed weapon straight away? I don't think I even have the ability to do that. Yeah, as you can see, I could get a two-handed axe, but it's going to be 829, which is a bit, it's a bit too, um, bit too dear for my liking. So we're probably not going to do that. We are going to be heading in here against these these deserters, though. All right, so I was unfortunately unable to get into a battle with those seven deserters. The, this is not the same group, by the way, but the seven deserters were over there and you saw that vassal nearby to them. Yeah, unfortunately, we were unable to actually do anything with them because he attacked them. And well, that's not really going to help us, is it? No, we're going to get a very small amount of 
experience for fighting them. So anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to try to beat these bandits. These are classic, classic bandits. Hopefully we'll be okay with that. 58 damage, not too bad. Obviously, if I can continue to utilize my horse in a relatively destructive fashion here, we should be fine. 63 damage. I really do need to try to distract these guys a little bit more. Um, you can see here, however, that that is not actually happening very, very well. Uh, yeah, that's really not working very well. <laughs> oh, no, this is bad. Okay, come on now. Can we do it? That's the question. I mean, I'm not doing too badly in regards to the amount of damage I'm dealing, but unfortunately the enemy is just outnumbering us quite a bit here, which is definitely making more of a problem than I anticipated. But hopefully we will win in the end. Nice. Nice. Okay, come on now. Come on, sirs, you can live. Ah. Okay. Can you can you actually live though? Can you actually live? Yes, yes, they're actually living. No, look, look, there's one guy left. You can live, sir. I will help you. There we go. We did it. Ooh, that was a that was a close one. That was a that was a hugely close one. And we lost eleven of our troops. I can't believe every single one of them died. I really cannot believe that. You absolute imbeciles. I really have no idea. Hmm. We actually got a two-handed axe. That's actually fantastic. I'm going to be using that instead of the um, the other sword that I was using. And I also did gain some food, which is actually really, really useful for me. Unfortunately, I am now going to get absolutely murdered by some of these guys. I do need to recruit some more troops. Unfortunately, there's not enough of them. Got to have to run. Run away. Thank you very much. There we go. Okay, so we did manage to run. Unfortunately, that's still not going to be good enough. We need troops, right? We need troops as much as we can get our hands on. And I think what I'm actually going to do is we're just going to sell all this stuff and then we'll hopefully have enough to be able to maximize, you know, all of our gains. As you can see there, look at that, already a thousand gold, which is actually super, super nice. And we should probably also buy a little bit of this. Oh yeah, I'm buying way too much. Okay, let's just sell that. Then we'll buy five of this. How much is that? That's like, what? 19 days without food. Okay, let's just buy one one fish as well. And there we go. That's uh, that's it's good enough, isn't it? That's good enough. So basically, when there's a bunch of bandits around, what you want to do, at least from my experience, is just wait in a town. That's it. Just wait in the town and boom, there you go. Look at that. Just gained a huge amount of recruits right there. And hopefully they are not going to die absolutely awfully in the next battle that we go into. I'm going to have to wait a, a full day, I think, for us to, or maybe 12 hours until we are able to actually do something here with the next recruitment stage. I uh, just need a whole bunch. I just need a whole bunch of troops so that we can win these battles convincingly. And then once we have done that, we should be pretty happy with things. Unfortunately, there are going to be a bunch of people coming in here and actually recruiting as well at the same time and that's obviously going to make a huge problem for us anyway these deserters are ripe for the picking i do want to do damage against deserters most of the time there's a traveling merchant i don't have enough money for you sir so i'm gonna have to run away these fellows are actually moving extremely wow is, is that guy a named that guy's named that's a named beast man <laughs> I have never seen that guy before. That is hilarious. Back okay. Off, had no idea that there was a named beast man leading an army here. That's actually pretty cool. Anyway, let's uh, spec a point into something, shall we? Shall we spec it into riding skill? I think we'll spec it into riding skill. We also have a career point, I assume. Yep. Let's go for some more melee damage. That is hopefully going to help us out quite a bit. And otherwise, let's go straight on in. I'm hopeful that we'll start being able to get ranged troops as soon as possible. Because if we can get some ranged troops involved here, I think we'll have a much easier time of actually doing something. Because these guys, look at this, for example. They have no shields. They have no shields. They're going to be super, super easy for us to deal with. Or I, at least I hope so. Because these guys are, as you can see, basically just dodging, blocking absolutely everything I can do, which is really making things very uncomfortable for me right now, because I'm thinking to myself, really? Am I that terrible? Uh, yeah, well, seems like I am, hilariously enough. Okay, we just did a little bit more damage here. Hopefully, we're just going to clobber them. Um, for some reason, my my axe is just not hitting. I, I can't even see anything, to be honest, because it is so dark. Uh, yeah, that's, that's very frustrating, but there we go. We were actually able to achieve victory. And as I say, if we can continue to level these guys up, we're going to level them up into Empire Scouts. 
Empire Scouts is definitely the way to go because then eventually we'll be able to get them into crossbowmen, which are indeed skirmishers. And then we can level them up into, um, you know, gunpowder wielding troops. And that's going to be um, a huge amount of fun. So let's actually just do this. Oh, there's an engineer here, actually. Can he? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Does this guy, wait a minute. Is this guy actually a companion or is this guy actually like a, a guy that teaches you about stuff? <laughs> I actually don't know. Whoa, wait a minute. Do we want to get some free company volunteers? Let's actually have a quick look here. Do I actually want to? Do I want to get these guys? That's the question. Okay, they got 30. They level up into Pistoliers. Okay, so Pistoliers are not that good, as you can see. They only have 90 in all their skills. But they do come equipped with... What? Just... Just axes? They don't have, they don't have guns? Or do they? They must have guns, surely. They must have guns. Why would they be Pistoliers otherwise? That doesn't make sense. I think they have a gun. Doesn't that, doesn't that look like a gun to you? I don't know. But I don't really want to spend 560 for a possibility for them to have that. I'm not entirely sure whether they do. So we're just going to leave it for the moment. Who knows? Maybe at some point we'll we'll return to them and get get them or something like that. Anyway, there's another 1300, which is pretty nice. And hopefully we'll be able to get into some more battles with some cultists. Hmm. I actually wonder, where's the best place for us to fight cultists? Maybe next to the vampires territory? That might be... Oh, wait a minute. There's a bunch here. Hmm, there's actually a lot of them here. Oh, there's 27. I don't really want to fight 27. I'd like to fight 16. Yes, Mess thank you. Us. Ooh, this is actually going to be pretty fantastic. I really want to get more kills with my two-handed axe. So let's cross our fingers and hope that they're actually going to be slightly worse this time around. Because last time, they were just impervious to our damage, which is very, very sad because I'm... As I say, I'm pretty terrible with the two-handed for some reason on horseback. I don't know why that is, actually, by the way. Because I used to be really quite okay, but now all of a sudden I'm terrible. Oh, no, actually, there we go. We, we, we did hit someone, which is not bad. I think my timing is just off. I think my timing is just, just terrible, as you can quite clearly tell. My forces are actually able to do something here as well, which is quite nice. They are actually able to hit some things, so I'm pretty happy with that. And I actually killed someone there too, so that's even better. Getting able to, uh, you know, earn some more skill points is always a nice idea. And we actually ended up losing zero people once again. Very surprised about this, actually. And there we go. We've got some more people. We can level them up into Empire Skirmishers. This is now going to make us much weaker, by the way. You've got to bear this in mind. Whenever you get the ability to level archers into crossbowmen, you have to remember that at this moment in time, this is when you are going to be your weakest. Because if you have a small amount of troops, and that's exactly what I have right here. I only have a small amount of troops. I only have 17. Uh, well, technically 16, if you're, you know, not including me. Uh, then you have a much slower rate of fire. And that is the thing that will actually determine whether you win or lose in these early stages of battle. And I know that sounds super, super weird, and maybe not actually, you know, what you might expect, but it's true. That's the kind of thing that I have experienced multiple times now where I go into a fight, not not in this particular playthrough, but in general. Like, like, like for example, I, I remember I was doing the ranged only series a while back, I, I, probably a year ago now, actually. I'm not entirely sure how, how far back it was, but it was quite a while ago. And I was playing ranged only, obviously, as I just said. And the fact of ba basically being super super powerful early on with a bunch of archers and just regular archers the ones that use bows and then all of a sudden upgrading those into crossbowmen and then just seeing the stark difference between the two because the ability for archers to fire and fire and fire and fire and just kill things really really fast in comparison to crossbowmen which obviously do have a slower rate of fire it was absolutely insane the only time where i would definitely recommend going for crossbowmen are not not like i'm doing right now i mean that's the funny thing we're doing okay now because these guys literally just have no shields and that was relatively simple um but if they had shields can you imagine how how much messier this would be oh wow these guys are actually already leveling up into handgunners that's hilariously quick Okay, that's really, really nice, actually. We also got a wonderful, wonderful cape. Yeah, but all I wanted to say is basically that 
Just be careful about what you level up into crossbowmen because you've got to realize that they're going to be a lot less usable in short term skirmishes. They're going to be, um, you know, in these kinds of territories where it's just like, well, we can't really fire that fast anymore, sir. So we're going to have some big problems. I actually have to move away from here. There's literal huge amounts of troops. Oh, are you serious? Okay, I'm going to have to pay them. This is really bad, actually. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I wasn't anticipating that. I actually thought that they would... Um, <laughs> I thought they would be, you know, okay to just continue attacking me over and over again. But no, it seems like they've actually just left, which is wonderful. Okay, so I do want to get medicine skill, by the way. I do actually want to get medicine skill. So I'm actually going to put one point in this because I want preventive medicine. This is literally the only thing that I want from this because 30% recovery of lost hit points after each battle. You know what this, you know what this is going to do? If I am in a manual battle and I get eliminated, what's going to happen then? I'm at 0%, right? I'm at 1% HP when I get out of the battle. Preventive medicine can sometimes activate after the battle, and then that will give you back, you know, a significant portion of your HP. However, sometimes preventive medicine doesn't activate. And in this case, just go into an auto-resolve. If you go into an auto-resolve battle, then preventive medicine will then activate and then it will give you back your HP. And if you go into another one, it will do the same thing again and again and again. And then you'll be able to restore yourself just that much faster for the next manual battle. I know maybe, um, I don't know, maybe maybe that wasn't obvious or maybe some people don't know about that. But yeah, I thought that was actually a really, really cool feature of it. And definitely a reason why you probably want to consider taking preventive medicine over anything else. Ah, we got some more Empire Deserters right here. I do want to fight them. No, go, you know, get away from here, sir. Yes, there we go, there we go. Okay, this is who we want to fight. We Stop want to fight these guys. Yes, this is absolutely perfect. Look at this. This is really, really good. Just going to save real fast just in case because I noticed a little bit of an error there and I thought to myself, okay, wait a minute. Don't really want to have any kind of problem in regards to us getting a crash and then me losing all of this progress. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the terrible, terrible nature of that? Anyway, I now have a perk, but I don't think any of my people actually have two-handed, but I, I guess I'll just put myself on here and we'll see. Okay, so uh, I'm actually going to... I'm going to change these guys around a little bit. I'm going to put them into a loose formation. There we go. Loose formation it is. And I will try to harass the enemy's archers a little bit here, because this is going to be my best shot for getting experience. Because these guys will literally just not really be able to defend themselves that easily, as you can see. I am going to take significant damage from them, unfortunately. Thankfully, I do have a shield on my back, so that is making a bit of a difference. But yeah, otherwise... Oh no, this is bad. Oh dear. Are we going to even win this? Oh wow, they're getting murdered. Yeah, this is actually fine. This is actually fine. My forces do seem to be pretty good, actually, surprisingly enough, in melee. I'm I'm kind of surprised about that. I definitely wasn't expecting it. Nice damage. Nice damage. I'm getting a lot better at using the two-handed, have you noticed? Oh, okay. Oh, you, you, oh, you, 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 you see that? You see that? I literally decided to say, hmm, I'm getting a lot better at using the two-handed. And then all of a sudden, my character's like, no, you know what? You're not getting better. I'm going to miss that attack, and then I'm going to get shot in the face. Yeah, that's... What they, see, that's exactly what I mean. My characters take on a life of their own. Every single time I go into a battle, if I say something, all of a sudden, they just go, no, you don't. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened there. Anyway... We've got a bunch of prisoners, which is absolutely fantastic. We can also now uh, get some more Empire Scouts. We also get some Marksman Handgunners. Oh, these guys are super expensive. Oh, my. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is this is really expensive now. Ooh, we got a nice cape there. I think I'm probably going to use that instead of the other one because it makes us look a little bit more Empire-ish. And I quite like that. Mm, yeah, these things are also absolutely fantastic. I uh, don't know whether you know this, but Empire Deserters usually take around quite a few trade goods. And that can be extremely lucrative if you have the right things. Like, for example, they sometimes drop jewelry and a variety of other things, which can really sell for a massive amount. I've had, in this mod specifically, a bunch of leather that I purchased. Actually, not purchased, that I, uh, I, got, I looted. And I was able to get around 1,000 for it or uh, 600 for it every single time I sold it, dependent on the place that you're actually going to, of course. 
Anyway, I'm just going to sell all of my armor. I don't really see the need to keep it at all. So let's sell all of that. That's going to give me 1600. Uh, all of this stuff, sell that, 2800. And then we can sell all of this as well. And there you go. We're now at 4000 gold, which is actually really, really nice. Uh, I'm going to be selling all of this too, because I don't see a point in actually keeping it. I'm going to sell the hardwood as well. I actually feel like I should sell all of the really expensive um, food right now as well. Oh, wow. This particular... <laughs> this particular um, town doesn't really have anything particularly good in regards to its um, food situation. So I'm actually thinking that I might go somewhere else. Shall we go over... Oh no, I don't even know where to go to be honest. Okay, well, let me let me just reset this real fast. Okay, shall we go over to... I don't want to go over to Averheim. If I go over there, it's going to be really bad. Let's go over in this direction. I'm at 2% HP. You know what? Because I'm at 2% HP, I feel very um, vulnerable. So I'm thinking, you know what? Let's Let's just stay here for a little bit and then we'll move on. All right, so we entered a battle that is actually significantly outnumbered for us right here. I actually don't know whether we're going to be able to achieve victory. So what I'm actually going to try here is we're going to try to place my forces way back. Okay, way, way, way back. And we're actually going to be spreading them out a lot more as well. Can I actually do that? There we go. All right. So that's kind of what I want to do. I want to do a loose formation as well. And here we go. Now, th the only way that this could be better is if I had a ranged solution myself this would make all the difference in the world but we are up against cultists okay we're up against cultists and i wholeheartedly assume that my forces should cross fingers be able to absolutely murder them because they are indeed without shields as you can see this should be super super simple for them right 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 is it <laughs> Uh, I actually don't know. I'm kind of worried about getting myself killed here, so I'm, I'm not really wanting to go too close to the opponent, but I kind of have to to distract some of them while my forces fire away, because that's the kind of thing that we need to do. Oh no. Oh no. Is, is this enough? Is this enough? I actually don't know. Is this enough of a distraction that I'm causing right here? I think so. I think so. My forces are actually doing a significantly good job, but surprisingly so, in actual fact. I wouldn't have expected this in a million years from them, but they are apparently coming through for me very, very nicely, and I actually did gain a level as well. I really can't wait to get to the next career tier because I, I am just antsy for those career options. They are so fun. Such an incredibly fun addition to the game. You know, because obviously base game doesn't have that stuff. Anyway, 7 Renown, 4 Morale. Very, very nice for us to get that. We also plundered 850 gold from that. That's actually super, super good, surprisingly so. And then we can just get a bunch more of these. Oh, actually, wait a minute. I did something wrong right there. Yep, I actually did something wrong. Let's get skirmishes. There we go. That's what we want. We want skirmishes rather than the other things. And we want crossbowmen. No, we want handgunners from there. Okay, there we go. All right, need to make sure that I'm actually doing things appropriately. There's the leather, as you can see. Leather is really, really good to sell. And there's so much stuff here. Look at that. There are so many pieces of... Oh, I'm going to have to take all... Oh, do I have to take all this? I'm overburdened so dramatically. Okay, the hardwood can go. The flax can go. Uh, okay, should I, can I do it by type? No, I can't do it by type. I can do it by value. I guess I can get rid of some, some grain because that's not particularly useful. But I just want to be a bit careful here because I am in somewhat bad territory, okay? So that's the only reason why I'm getting rid of so much stuff so strictly. Because if I wasn't in bad territory, like for example, there is a lot of enemies around here. Or there used to be? What? Okay, apparently they, they just disappeared. Maybe, uh, maybe I just can't see them or maybe they're fighting someone else or something. I don't know, but I know that they were uh, surrounding me quite quite heavily there but anyway discipline is what we're going to be going for here i obviously will be going for gunpowder but i don't see a need for me to do that at the moment i think that's kind of um it's probably kind of pointless and i do want to level up other things too so what do we want to level that's the question what do we actually want to level i think probably leadership is going to be pretty useful for us 
yeah, I think it will probably be pretty useful for us in the end. So I'm thinking maybe we want to go for one of that, or maybe we just want to go for roguery skill. I feel like roguery could be really, really useful too. And considering we're taking a lot of prisoners right now, that's what I'm going to do. We'll go for the tactics over here now, and well, the career points, and we'll go for increase health regeneration on the campaign map. I mean, how can I say no to that? Thank you very much. That's going to be extremely useful. And now we can actually go in here. We can fight these beast men if we want to. I'm actually not entirely sure if we can even fight them, to be honest. I kind of wanted to go over to this um, this village and actually purchase some horses. That was actually my next port of call because I wanted to make sure that we had enough movement speed to run around wherever we wanted to go without having any kind of um, you know issue with getting caught and chasing down people and so on and so forth. Do you think we can actually win against this many beast men and cultists? I think I might be able to. Hmm. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Problematic, isn't it? Yeah. Super, super problematic. I wish I was faster. I wish I had a lot more speed, but that's the thing. That's the reason why I wanted to get those horses. Okay, these this guy's running away from this fellow. And that, 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 is, a, that is a funny name, though. That is a very funny name. All right, so actually, just wait a second here. Uh, they could engage me and then they'll have like, what, 40 troops, which is not exactly what I want, but I would like to fight at over 30 if at all possible. Uh, yeah, no, I can't really do that. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's the only problem with having so many bandits. That's the only problem because you just have to be super, super careful about how you engage. I guess I just shouldn't be too picky about things and I should just literally go in because now I'm getting nothing. You see what I mean? Now I'm getting nothing at all, which is pretty terrible. So I think I probably just want to go over to this village because this is really going to make all the difference in the world to how fast we can move. And oh, they only have charges available. Well, that's actually okay. We're going to spend quite a lot. Oh, actually, wait a minute. No, they do have these. Okay, I'm just going to buy all of them. Why not? Then we can sell some of this stuff in... Uh, in exchange, which is not terrible. There we go. And now we can move just that little bit quicker. I actually have no idea how much quicker we're moving, to be honest. I don't know how um, how, how well we did there. I'm actually going to just continue on because this requires spellcraft. If you want to see those events, I'd highly recommend checking out the Vampire series. That's where I usually go through those things and I read it all and we have spellcraft so it actually makes sense because otherwise... Uh, if you don't have spellcraft, you're not going to be able to analyze the fortress appropriately and, and so on and so forth, you know, so you can't actually make the event work as intended. Anyway, so let's see. We're actually up against Empire Deserters. I need to make this battle lighter in editing. Hopefully I will remember to do that. If I don't remember to do that, then I'm going to be extremely disappointed in myself. So let's hope that I actually do remember. And I do need to do some distracting this is really, really important. I can't even see, by the way. I cannot see, by the way. So um, me running in here is just... It, it's almost blind. Almost blind. I can kind of see, but very, very little amounts. Okay, distraction time. Distraction time. Yeah, it almost sounds like Draw Ragslin, doesn't it? Draw Ragslin! Um, come choose! Yeah, I know. I know. Okay, so, so far I think we're going to be fine, just purely for the fact that my own forces are actually not too bad in melee, but my distraction was really, really bad, primarily because I'm just not doing a very good job, because I'm not really sure where I am and what I'm doing, as you can see. <laughs> I had no idea. How many, how many archers are actually there? I can't see them. I mean, maybe you can see them because I made the, the footage lighter, but yeah, well, whatever the case, we won. That was actually uh, pretty simple for us right here. And these, these hand gunners are doing all the business right now. They are so incredibly powerful. 6.1 renown for us right there. And we are actually going to be able to take more of these troops. Let's get some more skirmishers. They're going to go into hand gunners, of course. Wow, really, really good gear here, actually. They're giving us super, super nice gear in actual fact. And this is the reason why I want preventive medicine. Look. Look at my HP right now. I'd be able to, you know, restore myself back to a relatively decent amount. There's a cultist hideout over there as well, which is definitely going to make a big, big difference to us. So I will try to go over there and then we'll prey upon cultists and beast men and things like that. Let's just sell all these guys. Roguery skills, of course, going to matter quite a great deal too. And my medicine skill, I, I 
you know what? Should I go into some auto resolves? Maybe some auto resolves could be kind of useful. There's some new armor for us right there too. And we finally got some gloves. The gloves are definitely an upgrade from nothing. So yeah, why not? And we're also going to be getting 4,400 for this. Sell this, sell this, and sell that. Look at that, 6,000. Very, very nice. And we also have some silver ore, some wine, some leather. Date fruit actually sells for an insane amount too. And we've got some meat as well. There we go. Fantastic. Look at that. And now we can just wait here for some time. Hopefully my medicine skill is going to level up. I really do need preventive medicine. That's just so incredibly useful. But um, as it stands right now, yeah, it's a bit, a bit uh, not so good at the moment. As you can see, my medicine does take a little bit of time to work here. Okay, do we want charge damage or do we want maneuvering? Well, for me personally, I want charge damage. And I don't think I'm going to be having too many cavalry at all. So I'm probably just going to go for charge damage right there. I actually leveled up, right? So that means I can actually take... Uh, oh, no. Apparently I didn't. Oh, no. I just got a perk point. Mm, never mind. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, well, that's absolutely fine. So let's continue onward. We can just go straight on in against these cultists. With us and we'll oh, well. Yeah, I don't really want to do that. There's that guy. He joined with me right there, which was sad. Don't really want to do any battles with a vassal because it just it makes, no, it makes no sense. You know what I mean? It literally makes no sense because I go in there and I get such a small contribution to the battle that my rewards are negligible at best so you know not really going to make any difference so now here's the problem here if you go into a plains battle as you can see from this tooltip cavalry gains a large bonus and horse archers gain a large bonus as well so that is something that we have to take into account when going into battles later we will not be able to really go into battles in auto resolve against cavalry forces that's really going to make a huge, huge difference to our overall success. So we need to be careful about that. But apart from that, we should be okay as long as we have slightly higher tier troops than the enemy. Now, of course, these guys are going to be really good at defending. So I have to try and run into them with my mount and try to stagger them a little bit. And then, then in doing so, they're the defenses are lowered and then I will be able to deal damage or I can just hit them from behind which is what I've been doing most of the time anyway okay yeah these guys are just absolutely out of their depth right now these guys have no idea what is going on I mean I, I'm not surprised they have hoods on you know they have hoods on so of course they're not going to be able to know what's going on they can't see they can't see out of them but there you go isn't that wonderful that was uh, that was actually pretty pretty cool okay so how much money do I actually need that's the question. And uh, the question is also, what gear do the witch hunters have? Because I'm thinking that I might try to go for 20,000 gold and then just get a companion that has the kind of gear that we want. So I'm kind of wondering what we should do about that. So I'm going to go back to... I'm not sure whether I should go back here or whether I should go forward. I don't know. I think I'll just go back here because I, I do want to stop by this horse merchant. Oh, wow. You really don't have anything, do you, sir? Yeah, he really does not. Very, very sad indeed, isn't it? When a, when a horse village basically has nothing at all. I would have loved to have purchased more of the regular horses, but oh well, never mind. Let's just sell this. I'm actually going to speak to this engineer now as well because he may indeed be a companion. If he is a companion, then I might try to get him just for his engineering skill, but I'm not sure if I need 50 engineering to be able to... Hi get the artillery no he is a he is a companion he's 10,000 does he that's a question I can't tell I can't tell whether he okay fine 10,000 I don't know whether he comes with does he does he come with with pistols does he have does he have a pistol does he have a gun I don't know that's the question I have no idea whether he does so I know that witch hunters usually use swords and hand crossbows is that true i'm actually not entirely sure about that i just remember playing um the warhammer game what is it called age of reckoning that was an mmorpg a long time ago i remember playing that and i remember um that witch hunters used a maybe they used a pistol actually as well he has no weapons are you <laughs> Oh, man. Why? Why do you have no weapons, sir? And he has no gunpowder specialization either, but he has how much in engine? He only has 38 in engineering. Is he serious? I just spent 10,000 on this guy. I literally just spent 10,000 on this guy, and he has worse armor than I have. 
What is this guy for? What are you for, sir? What are you for? He has nothing, as you can see right here. He has nothing on him. Oh, wow. Now I'm, now I'm so sad. Okay, I'm just going to be stripping him. I know. <laughs> I know. You don't have to say it. <laughs> I'm stripping him because I want to sell his stuff. That's it. In an effort to get some of my money back because he was a complete waste of money, which I am now kicking myself for. But there you go. All right. That's just how it goes, isn't it? Sometimes. Oh, that is so incredibly sad. Oh, well, never mind. Let's continue on. Maybe he's going to become good later on. I don't know. He has bow skill, but that's pretty much it. I don't think he's really going to prove himself to be that useful, unfortunately. Which I'm very sad about now, but there you go. Okay, I'm I'm now taking a relatively not so good, um, you know, <laughs> not so good thing to do here, which is this battle, uh, in an effort to try and make up some of my losses. So let's just do that. There we go. Gain five additional ammo. Because that's the thing. I could have purchased a gun, but I thought the engineer would have a gun on him. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, oh uh, well. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I didn't even give him a weapon, did I? Yeah, I didn't even give him a weapon. He doesn't deserve one, to be honest, you know? <laughs> I'm obviously joking. Anyway, I will give him a weapon, don't worry. I will give him one, just not at the moment. Okay, let me see what I can do here. Maybe I can actually be somewhat useful. He says as he almost gets skewered in the face. These guys all have pole arms and shields. Oh, wow. Ow. Please don't hit me, please don't hit me. No, no, there we go. Dodge that very narrowly right there. That guy's dead at least. Don't get killed, sir. Nice. Okay, yeah. That's what we like. Yes, that's what we like. Okay. More of this. Yes, there we go. I actually, I actually killed someone. Amazing. Amazing. Draw rags, Lynn. Draw rags, Lynn. Yeah, exactly. I know, I know. I made two references to that now, but that is just too hilarious. Okay, so wait a minute. Don't get shot. Yeah, there we go. We did it. We killed that guy. Can we kill this guy? No. We're doing pretty amazing damage, hilariously enough, at 0% HP. I mean, obviously it's not zero, but almost. Might as well be. Nice. Nice. And we're fine. And this guy's going to try and shoot me. Ah, he missed. Oh, I missed. I missed. The new product by Apple. <laughs> uh, get it? All right, yeah, anyway, 7.1 Renown and 4.0 Morale and a huge amount of prisoners in actual fact. And uh, look at look at him. Look at this guy. Ah, oh, who would have expected him to get eliminated? Ah, oh, not me. No, just because he's so incredibly useful, isn't he? I'm sure there is a reason why he is, you know, in the game. There must be a reason why he is here. And I'm sure there is something that he does that is actually somewhat useful, right? There must be a reason why he's why why he's in the game, surely, right? Otherwise, <laughs> I don't know. Tell me, tell me if there's anything that he does, because from my perspective right now, he's doing basically nothing. Um, well, he is doing basically nothing because he has no no you know no weapons or anything like that. But he doesn't actually um, have anything else. He doesn't even have a decent amount of engineering. Um, so yeah, I mean. I guess that's the only thing that he could kind of do. What are the, What does this guy... Does he have anything? Does he have guns, this guy? Mm, he uses bows, one-handed, two-handed, athletics, crossbow, throwing, pole arm. Yeah, so he doesn't use guns either. So I, I guess... I, I'm not entirely sure. Is there actually a, a companion that uses guns? I guess there is, but I just need to find find them wherever they may be. Anyway, I'm going to be selling these boots, even though they are better for me, by the way. Don't worry. I know that they are better for me. Actually, wait a minute. These boots are actually better for me. And these ones are more expensive to sell. So there you go. We actually found something um, much, much better for us. And so we're just going to sell that for 4000 Sell this. Sell all of that. So there we go. We've got another 5700 which is pretty good. And then we can also sell all this stuff, too. Good amounts of cash coming from this. Gonna sell all my grapes, actually. Why not? We've got 19 days worth of food. We've got 8,000. So now I have 15,000 again. So shall we purchase a gun finally, eh? Yes, I think we should probably purchase a gun. So let's see. All right. Empire Flintlock Pistol. Hello there, sir. And uh, I don't even know whether I should even keep this shield on me, to be honest. It feels a bit of a waste because it doesn't really do much. But 
I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's good to do. Maybe it's good to use. I don't know. Anyway, musket balls. Is this what I need? I guess. Right? Musket balls? I guess that those are the ones that I can use with this. I guess so. I have no idea. I have no idea. I guess I will just go into a real, real fast battle. Actually, should I go into a fast battle? No, you know what? I'm going to go into a battle against some beastmen. Because this is the first time we've actually fought some beastmen. Oh, oh, yes, with these cultists? Yes, there we go. With these cultists sounds pretty fun. I didn't level up either, so I don't need to spend anything. Oh, I'm actually all... <laughs> I can't actually do it yet, because I'm not at 20% HP. That's exactly the reason why preventive medicine is a must. It is definitely something that I need. So, can we please just regenerate a little bit faster? Ooh. Oh, they're actually... Oh, you're fighting a caravan. I'm going to help the caravan. Yes, there we go. Ooh, nice. We're actually going to get some relation. Maybe even get some charm skill from this. Oh, it's nighttime. Uh, okay, well... Oh, yes, there we go. Ooh, this is fun. Now I finally have a gun. Okay. Yeah, uh, fun rhymes with gun. Great. Empire rhymes with um, disappointing Maya because I will be disappointing with my shots. Don't worry. Don't worry. I will be. There is nothing I can do about it. <laughs> it is not my choice. Okay, so can I fire on horseback? Yes, I can. Do I? No, I can't. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can. I can. I just absolutely failed, as you can see there. Okay. Uh, how do I... Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> you see how much damage that did? That did so much damage. Yeah, zero. Because I missed. Okay, let me see here. Can I... I'm still reloading. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. This is difficult, all right? This is very, very difficult. I'm actually going to um, go into melee here just because I want to do some damage and try to actually get some experience. Um, but yeah, the gun is very difficult to use. I feel like the projectile speed is very slow. And that may indeed be the reason why I need to just be a little bit more patient with how it fires. So that's something that I will definitely be on the lookout for in future battles. But at the moment, I just want to get some experience. As you can see, I actually leveled up from my actions here. So, you know, it was kind of what I wanted to do. And we also increased our relation with this fellow too, which is not bad. You know, maybe it would have been a good idea for me to actually allow them to be destroyed. And then I could have attacked the Empire, Empire Deserters afterwards. And that actually would have provided me with more loot. <laughs> you know, it probably would have provided me with more loot, which would have been even better for us. But yeah, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes, isn't it? Anyway, how are we doing in terms of Renown, by the way? Yeah, as you can see, I'm actually almost Clan Tier 1, which is really nice. I am actually super wondering whether I should just tell this guy to leave, because he is one of the most disappointing companions I have ever recruited, which is saying something, you know. Uh, okay, well... Maybe there is a reason. Okay, look at this. We just we just got a um we just got a bow here, so let's give him this bow, give him this, give him this, and there we go. Alright, that's absolutely fantastic. Sell that. And we'll just give him one of these sabers as well, or one of these. Which one's better? Uh probably the swing speed is better for him. And then we can sell all of that, and that's gonna give me another little bit, not amazing amounts, but you know. It's good enough, I suppose. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed it, then by all means let me know, you know, uh, if you want to see more and so on. I mean, I'd like to I'd, I'd like to probably continue here because I think it's I think it's pretty fun. I think the only thing that I'm a little bit dubious about right now is how effective the guns actually are because it seems to me like the bullet travels very slowly, but that could literally just be me not knowing how to use it just yet. And... I'm excited to see what's going to happen in the next one. So stick around if you do want to do that. Otherwise, Mr. Woodchuck will be awaiting your return. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.